to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is January 5th, 2009. The time is 5 p.m. and the regular meeting in Greensburg Board of Works is called to order. Roll call vote, please, Jim. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Indiana, and the Constitution of the State of Indiana, the ordinances of the City of Greensburg, the ordinances of the City of Greensburg, and I will faithfully, and I will faithfully, and impartially, and impartially perform my duties as a member of the Board of Works. Perform my duties as a member of the Board of Works. The Greensburg, the City of Greensburg, of the City of Greensburg, according to law, according to law. Best of my ability and to the best of my ability, so help me God. So help me God. Thank you.
same as what Matt's were. Okay. Yeah. My name is Davies Batters. I'm with Capital Environmental Enterprises. We conducted a phase one site assessment. I believe you have copies of that, of that property. And to determine whether or not there was any potential for environmental impairment to the site from previous activities uh, before the city took, I think, to title, the site would take title to it. Uh, we found potential that there are two, uh, appears to be two underground storage tanks that uh, probably contain diesel fuel in the past. Uh, there are fill ports, I mean, have a copy of the report, fill ports adjacent to where the footprint of the vehicle maintenance building is located. Uh, more than likely those tanks remain, they're still there. Uh, there's also a potential that when they conducted those maintenance operations, there's a trench that was in that building that's now been filled where they probably worked on trucks and other vehicles. And so those are the two areas where we propose to do a phase two site assessment, uh, bring a geoprobe to the site and collect soil and groundwater samples to determine whether or not the soil or groundwater has been impacted in those areas. I think, Dave, that most of our trucks at that time were probably all gas mm -hmm. instead of diesel, but then I'm sure they probably had a underground tank for heating fuel. Possibly, yeah. Those tanks lay um, sort of perpendicular to each other, and um, so it's possible that one of them was the heating all the time. Um, without, there's nothing you can see coming through the uh, concrete floor in that building today. Um, since the building's gone, um, had we done the site assessment while the building was still there, there might have been other indications of what those tanks were for. We might have found dent lines going up the back side of the building, that type of thing. But, uh, pretty much the site was vacant when we did our walk. So if you do the probing, how far up the perimeter will you go? We'll concentrate on that area around that vehicle maintenance uh, building footprint. Um, we'll, we'll use a field instrument to screen the soils that we bring up to see if there's any potential for them being impacted and then analyze, submit to the laboratory for analysis those samples that show the very greatest likelihood of being contaminated. Um, if we find a site, a location where there is obvious impact, we'll step back from it um, and then do another boring to try to determine how far the contamination might go. How deep and how widespread as well? Uh, we'll go 15 feet, 20 feet for the groundwater, whichever, if we reach groundwater by the time that we get auger refusal. With a geoprobe, in some instances, you can't get more than 20 or 30 feet deep, depending on what the geology is of the soils you're going through. So. If we can, we'll collect groundwater samples. If we get all the refusal for them, we won't be able to. As far as how wide, um, we're again going to concentrate on the areas right around where the uh, <coughs> we suspect the tanks are located. Is it got the cost based on how many borings you have to do? We we have proposed doing up to six borings in in those areas. Um, cost is more uh, based on how many samples we have to analyze and our time on the side. Um, basically